Members of the Supreme Court sit for a group photo at the Supreme Court building on Capitol Hill on Friday, October 7, 2022, in Washington. D.C. lawyers for former President Donald Trump have formally asked U.S. Supreme Court rule on Colorado Supreme Court's decision to remove his name from primaries on grounds that it violates 14th Amendment U.S. Constitution. Meanwhile, in New York, the Second Circuit Court of Appeals ruled against Trump's request to review its earlier ruling that his presidential immunity claims did not protect him from being sued by columnist E. Jean Carroll. The Colorado Supreme Court's 43 decision on Deck 19, 2023, cited Section 3 of the 14th Amendment, which prohibits those who participate in insurrection or insurrection against the government from holding office. Both conclusions are inconsistent with the plain language and history of Part 3, the majority. Opinion said. Trump also appealed to the High Court a decision by Maine Secretary of State Shenna Bellows, who cited the 14th Amendment in deciding to ban Trump's name from appearing on ballots there. Why it matters Trump appointed three of the Supreme Court's nine justices and a growing number of issues facing the former president are on their agenda. Insult to E. Jean Carroll Appeals Court rejects Trump's request for full review of presidential immunity ruling. In civil case key players U.S. Court of Appeals for the Second Circuit judges Jose A. Cabrains, Denny Chin and Maria Araujo Khan. Columnist E. Jean Carroll, United States Supreme Court on Wednesday. A three-judge panel the Second Circuit Court of Appeals in New York rejected a request from Trump's lawyers to have the full court review its earlier ruling that Trump was not protected from being sued by Carroll because his presidential immunity. Last month, a three-judge panel on the Second Circuit ruled that Trump effectively waived his presidential Immunity defense when his lawyers failed to raise that defense in the first defamation suit filed against him. A jury may found that Trump sexually assaulted Carroll in a dressing room at New York's Bergdorf Goodman Department store the mid-1990s and then slandered Carroll by claiming she lied about the incident. Trump was ordered to pay Carroll $5 million, but he is appealing the decision. Carroll filed a second defamation lawsuit against Trump after Trump persisted in his claims that the sexual assault never occurred and that he lied about it. Last week, the court also rejected a request from Trump's lawyers to start Jan 16 in Carroll's second defamation lawsuit against Trump. Why it matters Trump is trying to use his presidential immunity defense in civil and criminal prosecutions related to election interference charges filed by Smith. Ultimately, these arguments, like the 14th Amendment question, could end up before the U.S. Supreme Court recommended resources in posts on his social media website. Former President Donald Trump offers new defenses of H.